Shaq reveals why he doesn't open up emotionally to women. The Divorce Hall of Famer words didn't go over well with some people online. So after I watched the clip, I was curious to know how the whole conversation went, so I went on YouTube so I could hear the whole thing. And it's like a little over an hour. And they're talking about multiple subjects. It's not just that one subject. So I just went online and I started reading this article. And based on what it was saying in the article, it said that Shaq has advocated against men sharing their feelings with women. Whenever something goes down, they throw it back in your face. But let's be honest, that can actually go both ways. It really depends on the information that you're sharing. Now in the past, the Hall of Famer has admitted to making mistakes and being greedy in his first marriage. However, the sharing of feelings doesn't appear to be a mistake Shaq thinks he made. I mean, every, everyone's situation is different. Now, if you're curious to know how the whole conversation went, you can watch it on the big podcast with Shaq. Now I realize that everyone's situation is different. So there was a lot of commenters online that wasn't feeling what he had to say. Me, I, I have mixed feelings about it. Before I even saw this video and read the article about the comment that he made, I had already had a conversation with a friend of mine recently about this same subject matter. And I was telling her straight up, but I guess that situation different because I know her, I know her background and everything. I know about her past relationships. I think you should give the person full disclosure, but I guess it depends on the information that you're providing to that person. I know me, if I'm seeing someone and I want that person to trust me, I'm going to give them full disclosure and provide information. I mean, only about the stuff they're curious about. As far as like your past, like your ex-boyfriends and all that stuff, I really don't, I don't need to know all those details. I only, the only stuff that I need to know is what's going to affect us. Like if it's some, if you used to have like a crazy ex-boyfriend or a stalker or um, I don't know, you got trust issues, daddy issues, something like that, then I feel like that could potentially affect us in the future. That's the only information I want to know. I, I want to know what I'm getting myself into ahead of time before I'm like too invested in this relationship. And I know with women, I mean, just based on uh, based on my past experience, I know with some women, they just want to know like stuff like like basic stuff. They want to know your sometimes they want to know like your body count. Have you ever had an STD? Like if you got kids, they want to know how many baby mamas you got. Have you ever cheated before? You know, like stuff like that. I don't have a problem with disclosing that information. I'm the kind of person, if I'm dating someone and I feel like you're being secretive in the beginning, like right off the rip, we're about, I don't know, two, three, four months into the relationship and you're already being secretive, like you're not telling me things when I ask you questions, like you want to handpick what you want to tell me, stuff like that, then there is no future. I mean, I, I wouldn't even view you as a potential, a potential wife or anything, because I feel like I'm, I'm never going to be able to fully trust you. I'm giving you full disclosure and I feel like you're not telling me everything. It's not going to go anywhere anyway.